Hey guys, welcome, welcome back to my channel. Here we go again. Hop in and see what I'm whipping up for you today. See, I've my blender out, so we're gonna be doing some guava. Yes, guava. This is white guava. So I'll be doing some guava and pineapple juice today, homemade. I grew up in the country and I grew up with guava. It reminds me so much of my childhood coming back and forth from school. We stop on property and pick guava. <laughs> Just the smell, you know, right now I can smell all the fruity aroma of the guava in my kitchen now. It smells so good, remind me back of that day. And I'll be using about a liter of water. This is cold water. You can use room temperature while it has cold. And I'm adding some ginger. I love ginger. Give it a little zing. It tastes so good with a little ginger. And I'm going to add the lemon, actually, the lime, actually, to the blender. I want it to blend right through with it. A sip of lemon. A lime, actually. And I'm using some lemon as well. So, can't go wrong with this. It's like making regular lemonade juice. Guava is packed with vitamin C. There's so much vitamin C in guava. I'm going to add some water to it. The more the merrier, right? So good, it's rich, it looks so rich and creamy. Get this other guy out of the way. So, I do have a container here where I'm going to strain it. I have like a double strainer where I'm going to be straining it. It's creamy, it's rich, it smells amazing. It's packed with triple time, the vitamin C. And today is the beginning of summer, the longest day of the year. So this is what the body called for. Pack vitamin C. It helps you, your hair, your skin, your nails, give it that glow. Just go ahead and strain it. The seeds in the guava make it um, a bit heavy, but that's where all the vitamins and the minerals are. cloth or any type of bag like a nut bag to strain to get everything out but this is doing a fine job with it as well I just want you to go through all the process for you to see how it's done I'm 
just going to pour this in this container here so I can plate it up for you guys to see what it looks like. You can pour it over ice or just um, as it is. I already have some ice in my glass and this is what I'm going to do. You see the richness? Oh my goodness. It's almost like a little smoothie, isn't it? It smells so good. And that's all I have for you today, guys. Thank you so much. Remember to like, subscribe, and share this video.